Hey everyone, I'm back with more fights in Legend of Dragoon. Jeez, I don't know. Probably gonna edit this out. I guess it'll depend on how much time I have. Cause wow, we need to heal. This is actually kinda loud, I'm gonna turn down to the sec. Okay, good, I landed the addition. Let me turn that down just a tad. So I don't go deaf. Cause that wouldn't be very good, would it? All right. Yeah, depending on how much time I have left over or whatever. Oh, yeah, too fast there. It's been a week. It's been over a week since I've done this, so I might be a little bit out of practice. Yep. Don't do dart. Why are you missing? Okay, come on now. Let me get through this fight. Oh, what are you doing to me? Icicles, dude! Alright, finish him off. Alright, then we gotta get the other guy. Alright, we took out the penguin. Get him. Alright, keep getting this guy. Alright, good, I can learn that addition at least. Alright, that guy's gone. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh wow, right before this little cutscene thing here. Look, this is the Tower of Flanville. It's the ruin where the moon mirror was placed. It's a swirl. Again, this doesn't seem to be built by humans. No, it's not. According to the legend, it was the Wingleys' floating fort during the Dragon Campaign. I heard. This can fly? Wingleys in the past used to have an enormous amount of magic power. Then it wouldn't be strange if this much magic is concealed in the Divine Moon objects. For the people of Serdio, for King Zior, and the Princess Emil. No, this is a life or death matter for all of Indianess. That's even more of a reason. We must stop the ambitions of Lloyd here. Alright, let's go stop his ambitions. Well, Alright, first we gotta... Go through here. Rave Twister. All right, that's. Let me go. Let me go into items right now. Actually, you know what? I'll do that later. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm just gonna meet back right here at this intersection because I've got to go back to the item shop and sell the magic items I have now, buy healing items, and then come back here so I can continue on ahead because I'm gonna need healing items more than the magic attack items. So I'll be right back at the item shop. Hey everybody, I'm back here. I figured I might as well just show this item buying process. Item buying, item selling. And if it comes to it, I can just speed montage this if necessary. So right now let's get in here and sell stuff we don't need. Thunder for all, yes. I'm gonna sell most of my magic attack items. Earth base for all, yes. Go down here. Crush magma, fire for all. All right, dancing ray, light for all. Fatal blizzard, it's gonna be water for all. What else? Black green, darkness for all. Grave twister, wind for all. All right, what else do I have here? Gravity error, powerful attack, powerful attack. I'm keeping both of those. Okay, so now I'm going to buy. Let's see. Buy two of those. Buy two of those. Yeah, let's buy two of those. Okay, should be set for items now. All right, I'll meet you back at that intersection. I am back here at the intersection, so let's press onward. And we're in here. Hey, a box. Spirit ring. Okay, no, don't leave. We just got here. Go. Go, 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 go. Yay, it's a series of tubes. Yeah, it doesn't matter which of these two you go in because you can go through here and you go through a little loop. I mean, look, it doesn't matter which way you go. Because those ones are linked to each other. But this one goes somewhere else. That's where we want to go. And we have another box. And hey, we're about to get into a fight. Okay, well, we made it to this tube without getting into a fight. Yep, we're in another series of tubes. Only one way to go here. And, uh, which way? 
Where does this one go? Oh yeah, this one leads into uh, like a nothing room. We need to just like keep looping right here for as long as you like, but nothing to be done there. So let's go over this away. All right, cool. The moon mirror is in there. Oh snap. The Dragoon Spirit of the Divine Dragon is resonating. Lloyd! Finally, we cornered him. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens. Um, actually, right now, let me go re-equip, let me go change some of my items in my party. Addition. Yeah, I'm fine on the addition. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna replace... I'm gonna take Albert out and put Rose in. And then, armed. I'm not gonna... Oh, yeah. Um, go with Mind Crush. Since we're not gonna be fighting water-based enemies anymore. And then... Alright, this is gonna be slightly cheap, so I'm not gonna spam... I'm not gonna overuse it, but I'll explain why I'm equipping him with Talisman later on. What I'm gonna do first is... Get so, get back up to full health by fighting enemies and guarding, and then I'll meet you back. I don't know if it'll be in this video or the next, but we'll see. Okay, I'm back to this place, and I switched out, um, Hotshell for Albert. Let's go. Because it just seems more, I don't know, appropriate for Albert to be in here, seeing as this bastard killed Lovings. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a new video or part of the previous one. It depends on how long this takes and what I have to edit. I appreciate your cooperation. What are you? Lloyd! Here they are. I just got all three Divine Moon objects. Now the world will be reborn into the utopia that Emperor Diaz and I desire. The world will be reborn? What are you talking about? You should know, Your Majesty. The evolutionary plan created by the Great Will Soa and the flow of evolution woven by the Divine Tree. You humans are merely the 106th in the plan, and we, Wingleys, are the 107th in the plan. I desire the 108th evolution. I desire a utopia created by the last species. For that, I will use every conceivable means. Inconceivable! Lloyd, that's all you want to say? I let my sword say the rest. Shall we finish this up? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm already a minute and a half since I started this little segment. So, I don't know how I'm going to do all the editing for this. Alright, well, let's just start attacking. Alright, don't embarrass yourself now. There we go, okay, that was not an embarrassment. So I'll try to do this without being... without doing the cheap move that I can do. I mean, I'm gonna use it at some point to show it off, but I'm gonna let Lloyd show off his moves first. Show me your moves! Cause he has some pretty cool looking attacks. He's flying at us with little pointy things. It looks like being in the middle of that is dangerous. Just scatter, scatter, run out of there. Or not. Let him trap you in his black sphere, hemisphere of doom. It's shiny on the inside. It doesn't look like this is gonna feel good. That was a rather elaborate attack. Alright. Oh, damn! Albert took some heavy damage from that. Wow, really? <sighs> okay. I'll do it now. Dragoon. See, I didn't want to do... I don't want to abuse this because it is kind of cheap. But the reason I equipped Dart with the Talisman is because Lloyd will attack whoever is in Dragoon mode when his turn comes up. So if I have a character in Dragoon mode, Lloyd's gonna attack them. That's all he'll do. And he'll attack them with a move that will kill them instantly. But, let me do this first. Oh, I screwed it up. 
but the talisman protects against instant death, so it'll mean that he's not going to do any damage to us. So I'll just do this while I... Oh, miss! What a bunch of crap. Well, whatever. Well, I mean, yeah, so I can show off this attack, too. His instant death attack. Without having to die because of it. Alright, I missed you. You impale me. And it still counts as a miss, so we're even. How do you like that? Huh? Alright, items. Uh, healing Breeze. I had to use a Healing Fog on Albert a while ago. I mean, I got us all healed up pretty well, but then... Well, yeah, I mean, Albert was still below, uh, Albert was still below half, so I had to use a Healing Fog on him to get him back up to speed. <laughs> 